Well, good hump day to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome you to my home in the sticks. I hope everybody is having a show sure enough good Wednesday. But I'm here to tell you in East Central Mississippi, it's a little windy. It's beautiful outside. But you know what? <laughs> Got another serious storm event coming to us. Going to start Friday and into Saturday. Mm. But before I get off into this video, I always like to say that if you are new to the Home in the Sticks channel, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I thank y'all for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is, I'm going to talk, we're going to bump some guns about this weather that's coming in. And I also have a few things that I invested in for my home place in the kitchen. Give me a second and we're going to talk about both. <laughs> All right, y'all, before we get off in the shop, I wanted to, uh, Lord and mercy, I wanted to tell you about this storm system that we have coming to East Central Mississippi Friday into Saturday. Now, they have placed East Central Mississippi in the enhanced risk factor. It's one out of five, and right now we are sitting at a three. They are claiming that it is going to get really bad, extremely bad, on Saturday. I don't know what's the deal with the weather here uh, in Mississippi and other places, but they're talking about uh, up to an inch uh, in diameter hail, high winds in the 50 to 60 uh, mile an hour range, tornadoes, and uh, just a severe threat of flash flooding and heavy storms. Again, I'm gonna have to, it, start, it was just starting to dry up just a little bit over here, but we're gonna have more rain in, on, on the way. So, gonna have to see what goes on as far as uh, videos in the next couple of days because I am seriously keeping an eye on this storm. It's, uh, it's supposed to be a uh, good one. I will update uh, you and y'all as far as what's going on with the storm. May try to get some video on it. I'm just a big storm buff, uh, like light, looking at lightning and, and rain. So we'll just we'll see what happens and we'll play it by ear. So let's get off in this shop and I'm gonna show you what I've done invested in. Okay, brothers and sisters, let's rock on. I'm gonna show you a few things that I purchased uh, from my home place, and it's. So far, they have helped me out a lot in the kitchen. So let me show you. The first thing that I purchased was this digital scale. And this is made by LEM, and it is a 330 pound scale, meaning 330 pounds maximum that I could put on top of the scale to weigh out whatever I'm doing. I really got it because it's got a display that is separate from the actual scale itself. We've been here lately, we've been, I've been processing a lot of deer meat. Uh, I have a buddy of mine that lives in Kemper County, a county over. He brought over 50 pounds of deer meat uh, last Friday. So we processed that, made a bunch of sausage, and we needed a scale to weigh out all of the ingredients and also weigh the deer meat. Hence the reason why I got this. What I've used in the past is this. This is just a Taylor digital scale, and this weighs up to 33 pounds. The one problem that I had with the scale, and it works, but the one problem that I had is when you set a bowl on top of the scale, the bowl covers up the readout. So you actually have to hit the hole button, take the bowl off, and actually see what the weight is. There we go, I'll fire it up. Put the bowl on top of it, can't see what the weight is. So you gotta actually hit the tear button, take the bowl off, and there you go. With this guy right here, set the bowl on top of it, read out what the, the weight is. And of course, this has the tear, and it also uh, will weigh in kilograms, pounds, and ounces, or pounds and ounces in kilograms. LEM digital scale with the separate readout first purchase. Second thing that I invested in was an LEM jerky cannon. Hope y'all can see that. I'm not going to pull it out because it's too hard to get it all back in the box, such as what I'm doing right now. 
But what this thing does is allows me, it allows me to make uh, jerky sticks, snack sticks, and uh, thin actual jerky strips using snack stick tip and of course the flat snack stick tip. And this thing right here holds a good quantity of meat. It's actually made out of uh, anodized aluminum, so it'll last a long time. And all it is, basically, is just a big caulk gun for jerky. Basically all it is. Read the reviews on this thing. A lot of folks liked it. Uh, I've used it once just to try it out. Works really well. But I'm going to have some upcoming videos on uh, doing the snack sticks with jerky and hamburger meat come time. But this was another purchase. The LEM jerky cannon. And it also comes with something to clean the cannon out with. That was purchase number two. That's kind of like Christmas presents I got for myself. So stuff that I could use over here at my home place to do when I process meat and I have extra stuff left over. I can make some jerky sticks or some, yeah, kind of like Slim Jims. Another thing that I invested in, and this is gonna be the last thing, is this right here. What this is, is Weston vacuum seal bags. There's 100 bags in this box right here. I use a lot of vacuum seal bags, a lot, because I buy stuff in bulk, cut it up, slice it up, whatever, put it in a deep freeze. If you go to Walmart and you buy bags like this, and these are actual food saver bags. These are the, the pint size bags, and these are the quart size bags. But this is what I, I normally buy, food saver brand vacuum seal bags. 20 quart size bags will run you roughly $10 and some change for 20 food saver vacuum seal bags. I bought these right here, and it's 100 vacuum seal bags for 16 bucks on Amazon. Did a lot of uh, reading and research on these Weston bags. They work, I have used them. There's only one flaw, and it's not really a flaw to me, but it seems to be a huge flaw for folks that buy these bags, and I I'll show you. The flaw is, and I hope you can see it, and you probably, you might not be able to, but when you buy the bags, they come and uh, you get 100 at a time, and I don't know if you can see that, but the, the top part of this bag is kind of curled. I don't know if you can see it, maybe you can, but it's curled right here. So when you insert this into the vacuum seal machine, sometimes you may have some problems uh, vacuum sealing because of the way that it's packed in the curl. Now again, it's not really a big deal to me. You could actually take a sharp pair of scissors and just cut it, you know, a little bit below the curl and the vacuum seal is fine. But that seems to have been the biggest problem that folks that buy these Western bags that they complained about. These are the three things, uh, the LEM digital scale, the LEM jerky cannon, and these Western quart size vacuum bags, which in my opinion is a really good deal. It's a hundred bags for 16 bucks. Bought all of this stuff on Amazon, not extremely expensive. Um, but worthwhile. Each one of them, of course, are gonna have bad reviews. Somebody's gonna say, oh, this, this, or that about the product. Sometimes you just can't go by the, the reviews. I did, however, match up the weight on this one and that Taylor. And I'm here to tell you, this LEM scale is spot on. So y'all, that's what I wanted to share with you today. We're going to end this video. Lord, I won't make it too long. But I'm going to say again, I hope everybody is having a show enough good Wednesday, and I hope y'all having a safe one. If you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up. They help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home and Sticks channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over here and give old Dan a look, because I'm all, he's doing stuff. With that being said, you know it's coming. Dan, referee, show enough, always going to say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. And I mean nobody. You sure enough get your shine on. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.